I watch for you this evening. Crews have a better handle now on the sand fire in Yolo County. It's burning near Highway 16 near Gwinda. And the fire has burned more than 2,500 acres since Saturday. It's now 60% contained. Seven structures have been destroyed. Today, we learned two firefighters were hurt. Highway 16 is still closed, though, between Rumsey and Highway 20. And this fire has carved a big path of destruction. Yeah, a rafting business in Rumsey lost all of its equipment just before the season starts. Now, Others are coming out to help. It was. It just made us sick, knowing he had just lost all of his inventory and everything he had to run. New at six, CBS 13's Annie Giles shows us how some goodwill from neighbors is helping them get back on their feet. This is all that's left of Whitewater Adventures after the sand fire tore through. Bits of their raft charred to pieces. Their trailers completely destroyed as well as the trucks that pull them. But other rafting businesses nearby are coming together to help Whitewater stay open. It could have been us. It could have been us just as easy as him. And, you know, I, I would hope he would do the same thing for us. Brandy Burns just took over Cash River trips a couple days ago and narrowly avoided losing her own equipment to the fire that charred the Rumsey area. She stores her gear there, but happened to be hauling it out the day the fire started. We actually didn't realize how close it was until we were up there um, and loading stuff, and literally they were dropping, you know, the water and the fire retardant just right right behind us. The owners of Whitewater Adventures weren't so lucky. Burns has plans to loan them a few rafts of her own. Our kids have worked for him. Um, so while he's technically our competitor, he's also someone we've known forever. He's a friend. Burns says she and her family tried to haul Whitewater's equipment out the day of the fire, but the roads were blocked. Fire just moved so fast that I think all of his stuff was probably overtaken by that time. The loss for Whitewater comes as rafting season kicks off. This is a crucial time for rafting businesses to earn their income. But a spokesperson for Whitewater tells CBS 13 the company has every intention of being ready for their customers in a couple weeks. Right next to where Whitewater's equipment burnt down here, there is so much other damage. I spoke with one man who said he lost a storage shed completely burnt to the ground. He also said a historic barn right next to it completely burnt as well. He said the fire passed through here within minutes.